Hey guys, this is Jorge from the Big Band Podcast. I'm here with Adrian. Today we're going to discuss if not innovation, then what the hell do we call it? <laughs> so, so what what do we call it, man? You you brought this one up today. <clears throat> I don't know. That's my question. That's what I want the viewers to help us out with. What what what, what, can, what can we what's what, what, what the, triggered what triggered the you know the the inquiry? Um, practically, I saw the word overused way too many times by people who who are just using it to be part of the of the in crowd right now yeah. it, it seems as if you don't use innovation or creative in your company name you're nothing you're 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 not in the in the know-how in the loop right now so people are starting to use those words innovation and creative and there's there's nothing creative about their website or you know or, or innovative about their website or about anything that they do but i mean for me because I'm, I'm trying to structure uh, Big World Media and uh, start creating commercials and stuff like that. But how can I stand out? Even if I do innovate or if I'm more creative than everyone else, how can I stand out with with uh, key words? That, that, that was my, my, my question to myself. And I talked with... Uh, with a friend yesterday and uh, well it's, it's it's basically like saying the words but differently the same word but differently like for example and this came to mind when she was telling me about it is uh, you're you're the game changer yeah. innovative insurgent instead of innovator innovative insurgent so that makes you stand out. If you get a list of people who are innovators, most of them will say, blah, 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 innovator, blah, 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 innovator. And yours will say, innovative insurgent. It's the same thing, but it makes you stand out. So that, that was my question. That how, how, how can I stand out now? Or, or what will be the next trending word to be if you want to you wanna like be innovative, be in the moment? And... Uh, uh, my my friend showed me the website where she works at, and <laughs> it didn't say anything about innovation, but you could see it in their pictures and in their design and their way they the, the, their process goes that they are innovation. They they are innovating. They they're, they're, there's a reason why they're uh, one of the biggest company companies. They they were founded by in 1963 something like that, and they're still going strong. And that, like that, that got me thinking, and when you told me about okay, what are we gonna talk in the next podcast? That's why I came up with all this stuff. Um, well, number one, I, I don't think it's a label thing. Uh, it's more of an action thing. I mean, calling yourself tall doesn't make you taller. <laughs> of course, it, it, it's just a it's just a damn word. But it does <laughs> like generate. Uh, yeah, because people are stupid. Exactly, and that's that's the reason why people use these things as a you know marketing ploy yeah. uh, because people some some people will fall for it and they don't have i mean when i say people are stupid it's because they don't have criteria <laughs> yeah they, they don't they don't discern discern you know between bullshit and non-bullshit um you know i have a friend who you know w when we're talking you know it's, it's very common that he tells me that you know remember that people people in mexico like to listen to bullshit and I'm like, yeah, well, it's not, in, not, not just in Mexico, it's everywhere. <laughs> they like, they like to, to hear your bullshit, right? To throw, throw words at them. Because if you, you know, I've, I've noticed a lot that, um, and, and you know me, I'm very, you know, straight to the, straight to the point. I don't, I don't bullshit people. Um, I, my way of, of, of getting people to, to understand, you know, innovation or whatever, is just telling my stories. <laughs> yeah. And that's the anecdotes. Why? Because if they're different, they're impactful. <laughs> I get excited about that because I'm remembering. Um, most people don't have those type of stories. They have very common stories. Yeah. And that's the way how I kill that. You know, to, to separate myself from the bullshitters 
and the, the posers. <laughs> and I don't, you know, as I've said in the, in the previous podcast where we also talked about, you know, this topic was, well, along the lines, not the same topic, was that I don't really use the word innovation. Like, it's, it's yeah, it's in my blog, but, and, but really, I don't, in person, I don't really use it. I, I use other words. I use better words to describe the thing. Um, because I, I mean, even myself, I don't, I don't like saying it. Because it's just, it, it does, sometimes people don't understand it. So what I choose to do is choose a combination between telling you an anecdotes of myself and then using other words to describe the thing. So what, which are, for me, like if something's innovative, it has to, has three criteria. It's new, surprising, and, and, and radically useful. That's what it is. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's how I, how I frame my things. So that's how, that's kind of like the words that I throw at people. Something new, something different, something, you know, that's going to surprise people. That's going to be relic because it's really useful, right? So it's, it's different. <laughs> people, you know, just trying to put words in people's brains to, to connect as, as opposed to just saying, oh, it's going to be a note of people will say, oh, you're just going to change my logo. <laughs> update my logo. Make Up, it update my colors or whatever. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. it's, it's very stupid, but the, unfortunately that's, that's the world we live in. And, Social media, you know, amplifies human stupidity. Um, you know, it's, it's ridiculous. Like, another friend, just this week, he sent me a link to a, a startup, uh, an agency for startups. And I look at, I look at it, I look at the website, and I'm like, oh my, I, I, this, is, this is exactly what I said. Oh my God, people fall, the, fall, fall for this shit. And he told me, it's marketing, dude. <laughs> and I said, I know it's marketing, but stupid. <laughs> right? Because it's two dudes just... And I'm pretty sure they, they're good at their, what they do because I looked at the bios and I mean they're they're legit. But startup an agency for startups, I'm like really. And they use lean startup um, words. <laughs> is that is that all you have to do? Just put words in a fucking website and say we're we're an agency for startups. That's why I thought it was stupid. <laughs> That's why I thought. I mean that was like oh my god, people fall for this stuff. That's, they that, do. That's ridiculous. They do. It's ridiculous. And that's the same, it's the same case as your example. I mean, but most people are stupid and they don't, they can't differentiate what, between what's real and what's not. And um, for those of us who are, you know, very hardcore, we, we actually do this stuff. <laughs> we practice what we preach. You know, they hit, it hits us because we don't tend to bullshit people with bullshit marketing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. I mean, if you go to my blog, a blog that's, that existed for eight years, um, yes, you'll see the words in there, but I'm, I'm, I'm conscious of not overdoing it to the point where it's bullshit. I'm conscious more of saying, these are my anecdotes, these are my stories. You know, if you are somebody who's really interested in it, you will understand those stories. Now, if you get, um, because this is the other case, man, most people get, you know, um, overwhelmed or they feel threatened by someone who's real <laughs> mm -hmm. and that happens a lot because a lot of people fake it exactly and I, I mean I know we don't have a lot of time today but this happens to me quite a lot Be because for the same reason I'm very real I'm very upfront I don't bullshit I'll tell you my stories you can't f I can't fake them they're real they're there that happened I got the evidence and most people are like Holy shit, right? Because they can't bullshit around me. <laughs> they can't do it. If, if they start doing it, I mean, they know I'm coming after them. Or simply, they're just going to say it. They just stay quiet because... You just... know when they're bullshitting. Exactly. You can call and, them and, out. And that's for me, that's, that's the way how to kill it. But I don't think there's, there's a word we have to invent to change a gene. I think it's just, you know, just do it. <laughs> just freaking do interesting things. <laughs> um... Don't be afraid, act bold, and that's it. <laughs> I mean, people remember boldness. I mean, that's that's the bottom line. People don't re remember uh, pussies <laughs> and bullshitters. They might fall for them, but they. I mean, eventually they they're gonna you know come back for air and say, "Damn, I'm I'm tired of you know hanging around bullshitters." <laughs> some might not, <laughs> and that's the other case. But mm -hmm. some others do, and you know that's the way it goes. But you know, I, it's very funny because 
just uh, two weeks ago, I, I had a meeting with a co local company here that's looking for somebody to help them figure out if their product is going to have any type of impact in, in the market. So th they want to talk to me, but they're already working with another agency that supposedly does innovation. When they told me the name of the agency, I acted as if I didn't know, right? Because I wanted to t her to tell me what what's been going on, right? What's the conversations like? But she immediately said, well, I went to the presentation, but I wasn't really like, you know, I said, enthusiastic. <laughs> She's like, yeah, yeah. I wasn't very excited. And I said, okay, well, and that's when I started throwing my stories and, you know, kind of putting together for her to connect the dots as how I, you know, operate and if I can help them with that. But at the end of the day, I knew who it was. I knew the, the, the guys from that agency and I know for sure they don't, they don't do shit. They, all they do is they put, they take a template, the Lean Startup template or something along the lines of design thinking and they pass any type of problem that comes their way through that template. That's not innovation. <laughs> That's just doing a job, yeah. right? And I even know them. I've heard them talk, and I'm like, these guys don't do shit. <laughs> that's that's the bottom line. And I know, you know, when the when the meeting finished with between this girl and, and I, I said, listen, by the way, I do know who they are, but I don't. I tend not to pay attention to bullshitters. So when you're talking about you know certain names, they're all already on my shit list, so I don't pay attention to them. I have no respect for them. <laughs> And that's what I said. <laughs> and I said, listen, I'm very upfront, so if that, you know, my, my way of operating and thinking and talking is intimidating to you, then you don't really want to do anything interesting. <laughs> but if this is, you know, this is interesting to you and you want to do let's go forward. I mean, let's talk. Let's see what we can, we can do. And, and this is the way I operate. I don't, I don't, I don't like, you know, I'm not going to do something that's really just uh, uninteresting. I really, I'd rather not do it. Why? I said, because I'm not going to be able to talk about it. <laughs> They're not gonna be on my stories. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know, I know what you mean. That's how it is. See, that's, see, so and that's and that's how we do our own marketing. That's the way of doing marketing. <laughs> but I'd rather I, people who I work with remember me because of certain ways or certain things and the results, as opposed because I'm a good bullshitter. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> and there are good bullshitters and, out there, and a lot of people like those damn bullshitters. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe because it's it's either a good bullshitter that doesn't deliver or a bad bullshitter that you know won't deliver and, yeah. and maybe and, and I'm not saying I mean off with the bullshit I'm, I mean sometimes you need it to to get beyond that first that those obstacles and that's part of human nature you you need to you need it sometimes but I I don't I don't like to the point where I am being perceived as a bullshitter yeah uh, that's the that's that's when it comes to me like no I don't want to be perceived as a bullshitter I mean no, <laughs> that's that's not the point. <laughs> I'd rather be perceived as a threat, <laughs> you know, and and you know somebody who's actually not gonna bullshit me and is gonna is really take you know hardcore mm -hmm. than you know <laughs> telling me what I want to listen, to, what I want to hear. <laughs> and and another thing that I, I I recently discovered is that here in Tijuana there's there's a lot of um social media experts oh, yeah. social media companies and you know what's the 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 funniest thing about all of this is that all this time i've only seen ads on facebook for one of them so those guys are the only ones that are on my radar <laughs> you know because you've seen them on the freaking i mean freaking it's ad. That's the mo that's the simplest thing they could can do, do if they're yeah. social media experts or if they take care of your Facebook yeah. and all that stuff. I mean, it's, that's the most basic thing they could do, and no one does it. They, those are the only ones that they're doing it, yeah. and they're they're not even uh, concentrated on social media. They're marketing. Yeah, they're, so they're, they are just. Um... Those are the most innovative marketing guys or gals I know yeah. in Tijuana right now. Yeah, I mean, even even. Because I, I, I mean, uh, you know, part of what, what I can do also is the social media, obviously. And when I talk to people about, you know, social media aspects or just marketing in general, I say, okay, do those guys have a, a web presence? Some of these fuckers don't even have a website. <laughs> or if they do or they have a Twitter account, they have like 100 followers or, or something, or they have this humongous number, 
where I can tell they just bought, they bought their followers, you know, and they don't interact with any of them. And I say, look at mine, look at my presence. I have a personal brand. I've actually developed one, not out of objective, but because people have labeled me certain ways. I haven't labeled myself. People have labeled me. So that tells you a lot <laughs> of the differences, right? <laughs> but see, people don't, they like the bullshit. They, 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 they're like, it's, I think it's, I mean, it's a fear thing, really. It's a fear thing. It's, it comes down to that. Cause, because if it, they can bullshit with somebody, they kind of feel like, like they're on the same level. <laughs> but if they get somebody who's really hardcore and really, really, you know, beyond their, what, what they think, it's like, it's, it's like a threat. It's like a fear thing. It's like, God damn, this guy's for real. See, for me, that's a filter. I'm like, okay, bye-bye. Because <laughs> I, I don't want to work with you either. I can't bullshit this guy. Yeah. I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I've seen some... Um, uh, someone I know sent me over a few of... Uh, of this, the, like the suggestions uh, a few of these companies had for, for his business. And they're all just like... Uh, it seems like it's, bull it's bullshit. I mean, I know, and and I started like they they sent him like a, like a few numbers uh, with uh, things that like information about his business, and I was like answering all of them for my just for myself, and I was gonna send it to him, but I was like, no, nah, it's gonna feel as if I'm I'm very um like negative towards these guys, and I don't even know them, but I was answering all of them, all of their their. Their points had a counterpoint that made the their point uh, stupid, <laughs> and, and I can't do that. I can't. I can copy paste what they say and tell someone, "Hey, I'm a social media expert, and here's what I can do for you." But I don't feel right about myself because I'm lying. Yeah, it's. This, I'm. I think they're gonna be able to see through me, maybe because I can see through a lot of people. I feel that, but a lot of people can't see through me, even if, if I lie, even if I'm like yeah. paranoid about it. And I, but I, but I can't get used to that. I, I just can't. It doesn't feel good to try and 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 calm people out of their money. Yeah, I just can't. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's definitely not about that. I mean, no. I mean, it's it's. I mean, like like even with a friend of mine who recently wanted to collaborate with me, um, I told him, listen, we can help anybody, really, we can help any type of business, small, medium, big, huge, doesn't matter, but doesn't, it doesn't mean we got, we're going to click with everybody, because the human factor is always going to be present, right, <laughs> um, and that means going through some bullshit, either because they want to listen to it, or we have to elaborate more for them to understand what they're really asking for when they ask for innovation stuff, because that's the other key. If if people if, if the other if the other party doesn't really know what they're asking for, <laughs> there's a mismatch there. So yeah. the bullshitters come in and take that word and say, "Oh, you want some innovation?" <laughs> They'll bullshit around that and tell them exactly what they want to hear. But when someone like me comes in, who's really hardcore. And really, really takes this to heart. It's like, you're just bullshitting. <laughs> you're not doing nothing interesting. Yeah. This is just a, a, a bad copy of something else. <laughs> and yeah. I tell them that. I'm completely honest with them. And that's when I said, you know, these guys want to hear the bullshit, but I'm not going to bullshit, right? I don't want to do that. I don't care about that. Right? If you want bullshit, as I've, as I've married, married previously, I told this before, but I used to have a shit list where I put where I had, you know, local agencies who I consider to do bullshitters and do crap. And I had this on, on, my, on my desk. And when somebody I filtered wanted bullshit in my, or crap in my, in my, in my, from my criteria, I would say, yeah, listen, li listen, you want some crap? Let me refer you to so-and-so. They're experts in doing crap and bullshitting. Yeah. That's what you want to hear. There they are. Oh, oh, and by the way, if you call them, tell them I referred them to them. But tell them why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the same. I mean, if, if someone tells me, hey, could you do a video for $200? I'm like, no, there's a lot of people who already do that. Why yeah. Why should I do that if, if that's not what I'm into? And they will. Then I'm, they can do it cheaper. Okay, go ahead. Go do it with them. I don't care. I'm just not going to do it. Why should I? Why? I don't, I'm not in, in, in this 
business as a business. I'm I'm in this to to be something else, to <laughs> to stand out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. It, it's it's funny. It's very funny, but um. You know, I, I I get a crack at it because if I'm in a group and a group of bullshitters, I always make it my my case to to immediately set the rules of engagement. That way, I don't have to, you know, put up with the bullshit <laughs> because I'm gonna walk out. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm not, I have no interest in, you know, <laughs> you know, saying stupid shit. But, um, but yeah, I mean, that's unfortunately that's that's the world we live in. We really can't control that. <laughs> Humans are stupid, <laughs> but we can't control what we do, and our attitude towards you know, in this case, that right. Now, can you use these things as strategically to position yourself? Yes. Why? Because you can define your enemy, as the examples I've done, or I've said, you know, before. Um, that's how I do it. So if I, you're trying to compare me to somebody else. And I know exactly what the other guys do, and I know I can kill that. I will do it because that's the way of positioning. Positioning. I mean, that's that's basically strategy. Um, if you create the right the right gap, the right angle, it's you know people will remember that, right? But you know, starting you know competing with people on, on labels, nah. <laughs> Compete in action. <laughs> And then people will get that in their heads. Whether you wanted to say, oh, those guys are emotive or whatever. I mean, I, I don't even aim for people to tell me that. I aim for them to say he's different. <laughs> he's exciting. He's fucking smart. <laughs> and he's very bald. That's it. <laughs> If they say those things, awesome. <laughs> But I mean, they, they still have to know about you or find out about you. How how do you get them to turn your way? I mean that's that's well, basically it's, it's, it because it's, yeah I mean it's word of mouth. I mean if you do interesting things, people will find out about it. Now if you have a medium like mine, like my blog, well it powers to you because you have control over that medium of what you put in there. So it's not like somebody's gonna fake it. I mean it's your own story. Um, nobody's gonna write it for you. But um, so that's that's the way. But I mean it has to um, you know that's that's the easiest way to do it. Now if you have constant activities where you're you know trying to do stuff i mean that's then you have social media to play with you whether it's video text images whatever and you know use that as to connect the dots as a story and you know then find another way to connect all those dots in one single single you know blog post or pdf or whatever and then it start making sense i mean at the bottom at the, at the end of the day it's how however you want to tell your story uh but you Now, there's other people who come to you because, like in my case, people want to interview me. Uh, I mean, I get requests maybe two or twice a, a week. I don't think, and I think that's kind of like normal <laughs> um, for interviews. Most of them I don't do them because of time constraints. Others ones I'm saying I'm like, God damn, I, I don't think that's the right fit. <laughs> or they because they want to ask me questions I don't want to answer that don't make no sense with me. Mm -hmm. Like I know where they want to take me to. And I'm like, I don't want to talk about that. I mean, that's not, that's not, that's not me. <laughs> so I refute them. But what I what I will do is, if I get asked questions by or, or from these type of interviews, um, I will use those questions and post post them on my blog and to respond them as I want to respond them. See, and that's that's another way how you 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 kill that. <laughs> and you control so, it. Yeah, but you control the message exactly. That's that's the bottom line. Um, or Like in my case, that I write about innovation, strategy, and all these things. Like I do, I've read a lot of uh, myth busting around innovation. So that also helps to, you know, put put the hardcore between behind the the intent. So people, so I'm not bullshitting anybody, right? The other thing is that in my case, I don't. I mean, yes, I do consult, but I say that I'm an insultant, not a consultant. Consultants know all the answers, supposedly. Consultants, innovation for innovation. You don't know all the answers. You got to ask questions. That means provoking. See, that's that's what I'm. I'm I want to go with uh, with this. You took the word that everyone yeah, uses. I shifted consulting. It. I shifted it. And you're you're and what an insulter. 
An insultant, yeah. An insultant. Yeah. So you're the only guy calling yourself that. Yeah. In a world where everyone's a consultant. <laughs> That's like that's the word I wanna that's, that's, find for me, you know. Well, like, you you gotta well then then figure it out. The counter to that, um, I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's basic strategy. Just uh, just 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 flip it. Um, the counter to that, I mean, there's assumptions there for what you do that you don't do. Find a way to flip it. So it, it, it makes, you know, it, it makes people curious as to why you're saying exactly. that, right? It's not an easy, and it's not an easy thing to do, right? Especially when I come in and say I'm an insultant. Like I did that on, on Wednesday with, a, with, a, with another company that wants to, to work with me. And I told one of the guys, listen, yeah, I do consult, but I don't call myself a consultant. I'm calling myself an insultant when it comes to consulting stuff. I, I'm an insultant. Why? Because I do, yes, I do innovation stuff. So it means challenging the status quo and consultants do not challenge the status quo they come in with answers i come in with questions <laughs> yeah. i'm gonna i'm here to provoke not to oh yes whatever you say let's do that <laughs> just give you advice i mean that's not it <laughs> nice sound nice nice uh safe advice i mean really <laughs> but yeah i mean you have to find a way to to change the angle of that that uh to the narrative you want to talk about it's not it's not easy by the way yeah, yeah i know <laughs> it's not easy i've been thinking about it for a while the, the how i came to consultant or insultant was in a conversation where i just blurted out i wasn't thinking about it it just came out of the conversation from my head i didn't think about it previously i didn't have it in my head i didn't read about it it just came and i said no 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 you know what i should call myself a damn insultant and that's when it's, it was like, yeah, that sounds nice. <laughs> and it's stuck, you know what I mean? That's, that's how it, sometimes, you know, interesting things happen between conversation. Yeah. <laughs> Just in the flow happens, of the moment. And that's, yeah. how it, that's how I got it. <laughs> because I didn't want to say, oh, I'm a consultant. I, I, that was a long time ago. And it's just saying, God damn, I don't want to be called a consultant. I, wanna, I don't want to put in my business card I'm a consultant. I just want to fucking do interesting shit. <laughs> and started thinking about it, just talking about it. And then that, that's when it came out. But... <laughs> that's yeah. why I said it's not easy. <laughs> yeah, it has to happen. Yeah. But um, but anyway, so uh, what do you guys think? What's uh? Do you guys agree with us? Do you think it's just uh just not even use the damn word? Uh, you know what do you guys think? Um. Yeah, but that's I I can't I think that's it. So um. Peace out, guys. Uh, have a good one, and we'll talk to you next week. See ya.